What's up guys, Dark Roast here with my boy Carlos. Hush. This video we're gonna be doing a roof rack installation. So yeah, let's go. Sponsored by a red horse beer. Sponsored by a red horse beer. Got this crossbar set from Amazon. It was like 44 bucks, 45 bucks. It's um, Sunmates. Uh, it's got a uh, weight load capacity of 150 pounds. And yeah. So we're going to put it on the Montero and see how it looks with the roof rack. That's in the box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we already removed um, the mounts from the rails. Well, except this one. And we're going to add the rubber strips into the bars. If you don't do this, this will cause the whistling noise that you'll hear from the bars when you're driving on the highway. So if you hear, a lot of people were complaining that there was a whistle, whistling sound, but that's because they didn't even add the, the rubber stripping into it. These roof rack or cro these roof rack cross bars are a little problematic. There's really no direction on how to install. They have these rubber pieces that you put in the slots of the bottom of the bars, but like they don't tell you, they just tell you that it goes in there. But you definitely have to do some cutting because if you don't put it, then that's when you're gonna hear the whistling sound from the bars when you're in the highway. So we're pretty much just playing this by ear at this point on how to do this. The only thing we know about these crossbars is the fact that it's got a locking system for the Allen keys which there's a keyhole, which is awesome. It's a you know, set of keys for it. So it's got the, the lock for the Allen key, and then and that's it, really. And then you tighten it. So right now, we, we put the whole thing for this rubber piece, but it doesn't fit with the, the mounts. So we're gonna cut the rubber piece once we get everything mounted and measured out. We got the crossbars 30 inches apart because um, that's how much the, the mounts are are far together from the roof rack. So once we get that, once we get everything mounted in, positioned, measured evenly, you know, the crossbars are put apart um, at a you know, good length, distance. And then we're gonna measure out the rubber piece that we need for the bottom part, cut it and pretty much yeah, because this the rubber piece does not fit with these on. And then we're gonna have to cut another piece for the end caps, because the end caps fit into this bottom slot right here, which is where these rubber pieces will take place. So yeah, I really really don't really we really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just pretty much just doing what we think. We just made it. That's yeah. right, yeah. Just playing it. <laughs> okay, so we got the um, we got the sides measured out evenly on both sides where it hangs out and now we are trying to fit the rubber gasket piece in the middle and then we're gonna cut it. And then we're gonna fit it into the sides here and then cut it again for the caps to fit in. Cause the caps have a little notch in them that where the gasket with the plastic or the rubber will be in the way. So once we get that in, pop that in and then we're straight. So, okay, so we got the rubber uh, gaskets fitted in um, we cut them to size. So we got the uh, ones in between the mount in, then we cut it, and then we measured the ones for outside where it hangs out and cut it. Pretty much fit it in, and then you have to cut a little more for the notch inside of the caps because there's a notch that sits into um, inside of the bar in here. So you gotta make sure you got enough space. And now, Everything's completely covered underneath. So everything's sized and tightened down, and now we're just working on the other bar. This is a little shorter than the other one. All right, so now we fitted the gaskets on both sides at the uh, 
at the end where it hangs on the side. So we're just tightening the mounts and then we're gonna push the caps in, then we're gonna fit the um, gasket in the middle in between the mounts. And then we should be good from there and then we can put the rack on. We got the rubber gaskets in on both ends and in the center underneath the bar. Everything's tightened down, so we're going to mount the roof rack on. Um, the roof rack, I bought it on Facebook Market for like 40 bucks from this guy who had a garage sale. It came off of a Subaru. Dude scraped off the Subaru. It's a USA. Yeah, so we're gonna throw this baby on and see how it looks. For installing these, make sure you put the, the mounts that have the locks on one side, just so it's easy to access both of them. And so I just put them on the driver's side, just so it's quick to get out. Now lock it and I can just tighten them from this side. And then now we are putting the roof rack on, but unfortunately the, the mounts for the roof rack were on the outer side, so it's in the way for the mounts for the crossbars. So now we're moving them um, towards the inner, inside of the roof rack so we can mount them to the crossbars. And so we repositioned the mounts for the roof rack onto the center. And now it fits directly on. And yeah, now this thing is looking awesome. Look at that. Foo! Bang Bishi. It's a Bang Bishi. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. This is the roof rack on the Mitsubishi. Oh, jeez, that was fun. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like comment subscribe to dark roast make sure you ring that bell and i will see you guys in the next video